Okay, Marcus Boston, quick video this morning, and I'm gonna talk about something that I haven't talked about a lot in the past, and this is going to deal with like what to expect if you want to reach out and have a conversation with a birth injury attorney like myself about your child's traumatic brain injury at birth. I've been doing this long enough to know that from time to time, it can be, for some people, it can be intimidating to say, well, I'm gonna pick up the phone, I'm gonna talk with the lawyer about what's going on. And what I wanna do today is to help relieve you from some of the stress that you may have leading up to this conversation. And in that initial conversation, um, especially you know, if you, if you contact my office and you either talk to myself or my partner, Renee, this is how we do it. In that initial conversation, what we're looking to do is we're looking to get the picture as to what's going on. We're, we're looking to understand the facts and to be able to start putting the pieces together uh, of the factual basis and the factual structure of the issues in the case. So a lot of times it's just gonna be a question and answer session in which we will talk with you about specifically, you know, the important uh, areas like for example is this your first child if it's not your first child uh, you know did you have any issues or any problems in previous deliveries we're going to talk about those types of things we're going to get into your prenatal aspect of, of your care how was your pregnancy was it uneventful or did you have other issues going on like for example gestational diabetes or preeclampsia you know a whole host of things we're going to get into the pregnancy aspect of things. And then from there, the conversation is going to move to labor and delivery. If you gave birth at a hospital and you were dealing with either a uh, midwife or uh, labor and delivery nurses or you know doctors, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk with you about your experience. Were the nurses telling you anything? Did you notice anything? Or did your partner or family members, did any of them, did they notice anything out of the ordinary? Were there any concerns about the baby's heart rate or things of that nature? We're going to get into all of that. And then we're going to move from labor and delivery. We're then going to talk about, well, did your baby have to be taken to the NICU? We're going to get into that discussion. Was the baby blue in color or had to have air or resuscitation, oxygen? We're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about whether there was a NICU or hypothermia cooling. From there, as you can see, we're just moving through the process. From there, you know, then we will speak with you about what's going on today. Uh, if this is a call in which, uh, you know, this is um, the, the baby's already been born, there's been some time that has passed, a couple of months or even a year, we're going to talk with you about where are you today? What are some of the challenges that your baby is going through right now? Is, is there a feeding tube needed or, or is there um, other types of things, physical therapy that's going on, or seizures, seizure medication, a whole host of things. And the point is, so you can see that this is a conversation in which we're using this information to get an understanding of some of the issues that are going to be presented, possibly in the case, and where we're going into the future. Now, if this is a case in which you want us to do an investigation and you know, getting the medical records and reviewing the medical records, your factual uh, information is going to be important because as we're going through the medical records, as we're looking at the nursing notes, and as we're doing all of this stuff, we know the stuff that you have told us and we're able to use that also to help us get a better picture when we are reviewing the medical records. So for example, if you're telling us that the nurses were concerned about the baby's heart rate. And when we're looking through the records, we're gonna be seeing, you know, what were the nurses talking about in regards to the baby's heart rate? So the point of this video is to help you understand and help you be able to, you know, to remove some of the angst that you may have or the nervousness that you may have in regards to reaching out to a birth trauma attorney initially in regards to your baby story. Now, this is, like I said, this is how we do it, and I'm just helping you to understand how at Boston Law Group, uh, LLC, how we handle this issue. Other law firms may do it a different way, uh, but the main point of this is to help you be able to see what you are getting into and you know to remove some of the 
some of the strangeness, I guess to say, or some of the, um, you know, some of the concern that you may have in regards to reaching out. If you have more questions, there is a telephone number down on the screen. If you want to go ahead and pick up the phone and call me and we can start talking about some of the stuff that we just talked about in this video. Uh, if your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury, because more than likely, if you are watching this video, that is what has happened to your child. You either have an HIE diagnosis or subsequent CP diagnosis or uh, MAS or shoulder dystocia. You have something going on with birth trauma. And like I said, telephone number on the screen, go ahead and reach out and give us a call. It costs you absolutely nothing initially to speak with us about what your baby has going on. Just be sure to remember that when you call my office and talk to my secretary and everything, that you pick a date and a time to get on our calendar so we can know when to call you and when to talk with you about everything. One more thing before I get out of here. I practice law here in the state of Maryland. And I know this video is on the internet, it's on YouTube and other social media platforms. And I can't control who's gonna watch it and who may reach out to me. Like I said, I practice law here in Maryland. If you are not in Maryland and you call, I just wanna make sure that you understand that we have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, an attorney in your state. And that's something that we can help work with you on. I just wanna make sure that you understand that co-counsel or that local counsel aspect of things if you are not in Maryland. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law here in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. We'll talk with you next time. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.